Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. It's Tuesday, March 8th, 2022. And we begin with the discovery of what could be the world's oldest cave art, and it features imprints made by kids. A neatly laid out sequence of five handprints and five footprints were etched on a piece of travertine, which is soft, squishy limestone in natural springs that harden over time. Based on the dimensions, it's believed the footprints belonged to a 7-year-old and the handprints were those of a 12-year-old. The artwork was found near a village in Tibet, and an analysis by scientists in China estimate it was made around 200,000 years ago. And this is the first indication that human ancestors lived in this part of East Asia a lot earlier than previously thought. The researchers published their findings in the Science Bulletin. The Batman wowed at the box office this weekend with the best opening of the year so far, but it wasn't even close to the best opening of the pandemic. That honor goes to Spider-Man No Way Home, which was released in December. It's been a long haul bringing this latest Cape Crusader film to the big screen. Starring Robert Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz, it was originally supposed to debut last June, but that was pushed back several times due to COVID-related shutdowns. In fact, this is the first movie that studio Warner Brothers has released exclusively in theaters in over a year. The cost of filling up a family car or a school bus keeps getting higher. The average price for a gallon of gas in the U.S. is now over $4 for the first time in more than a decade. The reason for the increase? Russia's invasion of Ukraine has raised concern about the global supply of oil. An expert with a fuel-saving app, Gas Buddy, says the national average could climb to 410 by today, just a penny short of the historic high set in July of 2008. However, that average cost probably sounds pretty cheap to drivers in California, where the state average is now well over $5 a gallon. In sports, more talks, but no progress in baseball. In fact, Major League Baseball is expected to cancel another week of regular season games after negotiations this past weekend basically went nowhere. A few of the changes the players' union did agree to were a pitcher's clock and enlarged bases next year. But big differences remain about minimum salaries and taxes. LeBron James said of his epic game Saturday night that he did it for one person who was sitting in a courtside seat. The L.A. Rams Super Bowl winning quarterback, Matthew Stafford. The King, as James is known, had one of his greatest performances, scoring 56 points, leading the Lakers to a big win over his rival Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. James told Stafford that he was an inspiration, adding, I can't have you in the building and not put on a show. And one of the best coaches in college basketball wrapped up his very last home game at Duke with a stunning defeat. Mike Krzyzewski, or Coach K as he's known, is retiring at the end of this season, and his number four ranked Blue Devils suffered a surprising loss to unranked North Carolina on Saturday night. But the home crowd still celebrated Coach K's amazing legacy of more than a thousand wins and five national championships in over 40 years. And his team will still be hoping for better success in the upcoming playoffs called March Madness. That's it for Kid News. A big thank you to all our generous donors who help keep our microphones on every day. If you'd like to make a donation that's tax deductible, thanks to our fiscal sponsor, Independent Arts and Media, please go to our website, www.kidnews.org. Now, today's Kid News Quiz. What's believed to be the oldest cave art featured what imprints from two children? Five footprints and five handprints. What movie just had the best box office opening of the year? The Batman. What's the average cost for a gallon of gas in the U.S.? More than $4 and just pennies from an all-time high. What's the nickname of the college basketball coach who's about to retire? Coach K. In our Kid News Kicker, cats may have nine lives, but one dog in Michigan may have a few as well. 
a Labradoodle known as Lucy escaped from her owner and jumped into a partially frozen Detroit River last week. She managed to climb onto a drifting ice chunk but was stranded there. It took a determined team from the police, fire, and animal control departments to bring her to safety. A firefighter wearing a special cold water jumpsuit was attached to a safety harness while standing on a slippery ladder submerged in the river. He managed to snag Lucy with what's called a catch pole and helped her stagger up the ladder to dry land. A police spokesperson said it was a real team effort that pulled off a pretty sweet rescue. Before we go, we want to say a big kid news hello to some of our fabulous teachers and their students. Mrs. Zismer at Hillcrest Steam Academy in Belton, Missouri. In California, Mrs. Adams and her fun-loving bunch of students at Frank Wright in El Monte. And Mrs. Watkins at Laurel Elementary in Menlo Park. Mrs. Wood at Johnson Elementary in Columbus, Georgia, and Miss Ballard, Mrs. McGinnis, and Mrs. Valamont at Myers in Grand Blanc, Michigan. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we hope you tune in for more kid news tomorrow morning. <laughs>